I'm going to keep this shit short and sweet. I ain't going to go into every goddamn detail about this fucking mixtape. If you know me, then you know my channel. Then I mean, you know how I feel about his art. You know what I mean? One thing is for sure, this nigga got too many motherfucking songs on this bitch. He got 24 of them shits. And damn near, if you listen to the entire project like I did, mind you, it's like 12.35 a.m. I had to stop listening to this shit like three times to go do other shit because it's just like, how couldn't you sonically tell that, yo, you took maybe three to four subjects and you rapped about them throughout the entire fucking project. It was nothing really new. Money, guns, jewelry, cars, and let's just say fashion. Five topics. And you use five co co fucking concepts and rap about them in 24 records. If that's not repetitive as fuck, I don't know what is. Jesus Christ. Like, look, I understand people like Soulja Boy. I don't mind that. And mind you, yes, I'm older than this nigga and shouldn't even be listening to his music, but I know there's people out there that like this type of shit. Don't get it. So I'm not going to bash him about the guns and the drugs and shit because we understand there's artists out there that rap about that type of shit and they never done it, but they make this shit seem cool in a way, the way they rap it. I mean, the way they rap about it. Blow, you know, production content, lyrics, punchlines, little metaphors, creative. He just sounds like he goes in the studio, turns the microphone on, and record. It, it's just like how, I forgot what artist said it, like, you know, you can't, how did he say it? Build a rapper, where it's just like you just take an average person, boom, and just throw a chain on him and a hat, sag his pants, or whatever, what have you, and boom, we have a rapper. That's what Soulja Boy has turned himself into, this, this, it works for him, I guess, but it's just, uh, what the fuck? So you got 24 tracks, 12 of them are decent. That's where you know you have the wrong friends around you. Because for one, if you was my homeboy or homie, I grew up with you, I'd be like, bro, that's too many fucking songs. For one, cut that shit down to at least 12. Then switch the content up. You can't have 12 songs and... Eight of the motherfuckers is talking about the same shit. You're basically saying your fans are stupid and dumb and that you're turning up to something that's the same shit over and over and over. Jesus. But anyway, the 12 songs I did fuck with, I'm going to say the tracks. Track 1, track 2, track 3, track 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 22, and of course the last track, 24, Jumpman Freestyle. A couple tracks that can possibly be tracks that can grow on you, or at least me, because I know y'all hype beats going to love this shit. Track 5 and track 6. Those are the only two tracks I feel can grow on me. The rest of the shit that's on here, no fucking way. Like, horrible. Like, it makes no sense for why would you put out some shit like this to your fan base, but if you got people out there that, that like, enjoy this, n no knock to, to y'all, but y'all gotta start looking at rappers, like, you know, certain artists used to say in interviews, some rappers rap like their fan base is stupid, you know what I'm saying, like, y'all don't have a fucking brain in your head, and at the end of the day, it's like, I'll use this nigga as an example, the way he raps and makes songs and shit, he rap to y'all, or I guess he raps period, like y'all dumb, like y'all don't realize he said the same shit he said in the last song, now this is an opinion, it's not hating on him, I already told you the formula of how Soulja Boy can actually get back on the billboard charts, if you're going to use your money and invest in you, use your money and invest in you the right way, you know what I'm saying, I wouldn't, at this point, nigga, you can have a ghostwriter, we see that's the biggest thing popping, it doesn't matter who the fuck wrote the verse, but you need to get back on the charts, if you got to grab Future for a record, nigga, I don't give a fuck if you got to get Justin Bieber. Use your money and invest in you, period, because it just seemed like now you're a parody, you're a joke. There's no way an artist like Slim Jesus, which I told y'all that shit will eventually fade away, but at the press time, he was getting major press, and you've been in the game for, I think, almost 10 years, if I'm correct. So, I get this shit a five and a half out of five. 
I mean, a five and a half out of ten, and the production the same thing. It's nothing new about this shit. It's nothing catchy. Too many songs, you know. And that's not hating. It's just my opinion. You dig? And trust me, I wasn't gonna talk about it, but I know somebody likes Soldier Boy, so I want to say what I want to say about it. But that's my personal opinion. I don't think he's a bad rapper. I don't think he's like whack or trash. I just feel like he needs to switch his shit up. Stop selling other people's styles. Rap more about real life shit other than fashion when it's just like, nigga, we see you on Love and Hip Hop. How the fuck you in a trap house moving bricks? <laughs> I mean, goddamn, my nigga. Like, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's like you trying to say your fan base retarded? Like, are you making music for suburban kids that don't know shit about nothing outside of what they say on World Star or, you know, TV and blogs and shit? Because that shit crazy. Like, if I was making music like this, and living in my neighborhood still, niggas wouldn't even let me make music like that. Because it's just like, bro, come on. Fuck out of here. Like, you making the city look bad. But that's enough of that shit. That's just my personal opinion. Y'all <laughs> let me know what the fuck y'all thought about it. Nigga on Love and Hip Hop arguing with one thought bitch and the main bitch. And, oh, that shit crazy. I'm out.